The country is still mourning the death of the 23-year-old Delhi gang rape victim. There's no end to this rape shame. Yesterday, we reported there were 17 cases in the past 15 days. Today, one more statistics has been added, one more number added to that statistics. A class 12th girl from Puducherry was allegedly kidnapped and then raped by two men from her village. According to the 17-year-old girl, the men, one of them a bus conductor known to her, tricked her by claiming that her mother had been admitted to a hospital after an accident and gave her a lift in the bus. The alleged rapist in question said that her mother had actually asked for her. Now, reposing faith in his words, the girl went along with him. They then allegedly raped her outside a village. She was unconscious. When she regained consciousness later that evening, she contacted her parents from a bus stand where her rape, alleged rapist had dropped her, left her. The police arrested two men from the girl's village based on her complaint. What's worse? that the mother of the victim claims that when she realized her daughter had gone missing and approached the police, the police didn't even register a complaint. The medical history is supporting some sexual assault. We are going to take very severe action. Team has already been dispatched to apprehend the culprit and the bus also. We will provide all protection, whatever required for the family, for the girl. We will see that the case should be taken for its uh, end at the immediate. So once the statement will come, based on that, we will register the case. They are telling that the police has uh, not taken action in the morning. I have just uh, given the inquiry and if it is found, we are going to take action on that part also. <laughs> now the mos in the prime minister's office mr v narayan swami he's promised the strictest possible action in this case பெண்களுடைய பாலியல் பலக்காரம் நம் நாட்டில் அதிகமாக கொண்டிருக்கிறது டெல்லியில் நடந்த சம்பவம் நம் நாட்டையே உலுக்கி இருக்கிறது இது நம் நாட்டிற்கு மிக பெரிய பெரிய பாதிப்பை உலக அரங்கில் ஏற்படுத்தியிருக்கிறது இந்த சட்டத்தை கடுமையாக்க வேண்டும் கற்பழிக்கிறவர்கள் பாலியல் குடும்ப சேர்வர்கள் மீது நடவடிக்கை எடுத்து அவர்களை விரைவு நீதிமன்றத்தில் நிறுத்தி உடனடியாக அவர்களுக்கு தண்டனை கொடுப்பதற்கு நடவடிக்கை எடுக்க வேண்டும் and joining me now for the latest in this case is headlines today is priyamvada from chennai priyamvada why did the police not initially register a case when the mother approached them with a missing persons complaint that's the biggest question now and it just shows the police apathy in the in, the, in issues relating to rape cases because this girl went missing in the evening and around 9:30 pm parents had approached the local police station in the village to uh to lodge a complaint but the police had told them to wait till the morning to see if the girl returns they did not even register a complaint if 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 only they had registered a case and gone about searching for the girl something she the girl could have been saved from the present condition she is in next day morning the girl was abandoned after raped by uh, by three men in the middle of the street she go she regained the consciousness and dialed to have called her her father from a local uh, a local phone so this is the apathy of the police and of course right now the dig of police in pondicherry has promised that strict action will be taken against officials who were uh, irresponsible who were negligent about such a sensitive rape case